Hi, welcome to Market Alert for Thursday the 15th of December 2016. So we're past it, we're through with uh, waiting for Yellen and she's increased interest rates to uh, 0.75 from 0.5. And uh, she, according to this, um, the, uh, the Fed now expects to uh, raise rates three times during 2017. Yeah, heard it all before, we had this last year. The only difference this time, of course, is that she and Trump don't get on, they don't like each other. And if she does remain in office, then she might do it just out of uh, bloody mindedness more than anything else. But uh, yesterday rates up, and at least that's uh, now out of the way. And we saw how the market reacted to this. We had the pre-market session there, a bit of a down move. And then the market uh, sideways to higher waiting for Yellen. And then you can see the effect that this had on prices uh, when the rate uh, hike was actually released and of course uh, there's no signals on the chart with the current settings of 8 and 25 if I increase this to 35 this is the bar range only show signals on bars with a range of no more than 35 you will see we have a sell signal there if we go up to 40 you will get the other sell signal so if the volatility continues, um, let me just close this for a second, you'll see on the overnight the volatility is evaporated. This was the sort of announcement of volatility. This has since dried up and the market's uh, moving back towards the upside as well. So the question is, let me just reset this, otherwise uh, when I record tomorrow this will be looking slightly odd. And I should be watching this carefully to give you uh, changes on settings if uh, this sort of volatility continues so that you can take advantage. But in the daily chart, we've got to 19,965. We were only uh, 35 points off the all time high. You can see the market there has turned around and started to move higher again. I can't see us not hitting that 20,000 before the market actually moves lower. It would be very, very surprising if that were to be the case. Yesterday's reaction to rates, you can understand moving to the downside because of what happened last January. But the market also, after the rise of last year, moved higher until the 28th of December and then started to sell off in between Christmas and New Year. So we could see this happen yet, yeah, but we've, the 20,000 is still on the cards at the moment. News-wise today, what have we got uh, to move prices at 3 p.m.? Absolutely nothing, everything's out beforehand. This is going to be how the market uh, takes on board what uh, Yellen did yesterday. It will also be interesting to watch the pre-market session as well, see if prices actually move back up in a in an uptrend in a nice steady pattern. On the implied volatility, we've got 11.66. This hasn't increased much, 11.35. And considering the 200 point range or more yesterday, no selling around here this seems very strange now would have expected that to have increased significantly if the down move was a genuine move so again i would expect the uh, market to continue to try and push for that 20,000 before we get uh, any major sell-off follow in sort of january onwards and also trump is only president-elect at the moment 20th of january is his inauguration that's if the uh, the Russians haven't hacked the, uh, the US elections. I mean, I'm told I'm a conspiracy theorist on occasions, but blimey, this one by the mainstream media takes some uh, belief in it's incredible. I think if uh, Clinton had been in, it wouldn't have even been mentioned. So bizarre, to say the least. But uh, that's uh, another story for another day. So implied volatility, 1166. And uh, again, not to really confirming that the sort of down move that we had uh, yesterday right that will do it for this morning i will speak to you uh, later in the day if there's something to report other than that uh, as ever thanks for your support and also for watching see you in the next one